really was good. Thank you everyone for that. So, um, so I haven't done a video for two weeks and it was before my, chemo, my last chemo last time. So I thought I'd come on and report in on chemo. Most people know someone who's, who's been through it or you've been through it yourself. God, God forbid. Um, and it isn't easy. It's hard. Uh, you have good days and bad days and last week, last Monday I ended up in a and &E. I had a bit of a temperature, you have to watch out for it because when you're on chemo your immunity is really low and you can get very poorly very quickly so you have to watch out for these signs. Anyway I ended up in a and &E. and they sorted me out with some antibiotics and so on. I was absolutely fine. I think I had an extra dollop of stress on top of it because once I realised I wasn't that well I kind of got myself into a state and that happens doesn't it so I'm letting myself off with that and just just roll with it they said they said I did the right thing go in I felt a bit like a I don't know because you go straight through if you're on chemo you wave your chemo card at the desk and they wash you off into a little room because they know you can't be exposed to this infection and, and you're already quite poorly but anyway I was sorted but when I was lying this is quite funny I was lying there feeling sorry for myself waiting for quite a few hours to get all the tests done and that started David and I are vegetarian we've been vegetarian for over 10 years and we've got no desire to eat meat and we just don't we love our vegetarian food so we just carry on with it um, but I was lying there and I started hallucinating about some roast lamb I could smell it I could taste it I could see the steam rising off the gravy and I was going on uh, Yorkshire puddings and I turned to David and I said, David, I think I need some roast lamb. And he said, OK, we'll get some. <laughs> so we did. So I had this amazing, went to Waitrose, so should have gone to the butcher really, but we ended up in Waitrose for some nice roast lamb. Ate it that night. Fantastic. I was eating it like a... <laughs> I couldn't get it in my mouth fast enough. I really enjoyed it. So I thought, well, if that's what I want, that's what I'm going to have. And I know you're on my side with that. Until the change of mind, I might go back, don't know. Who knows? Um, so, um, yeah, chemo. Got my pick line in, not very pretty. Especially, it makes your skin look all wrinkly, this plaster. Um, but there it is, the line that goes in. And it's a tiny little plastic tube, it is. It goes into a vein deep in your arm. And then it goes into your heart. So they put the chemo in through this little bit here. They take the jacket off and plug me in. And I'll be doing that in about an hour. We're going in a minute for the second chemo. And then they send me home with a bottle um, to put the last lot in over 24 hours. And the nurse comes to take that off the next day. So yeah, it does hit you hard with pain. David has to give me injections for five days in my belly afterwards. That stimulates your, your, your good blood cells that help with immunity. Um, but it does give you pain in your bones because your bone, your bone marrow makes those blood cells. And when it's doing it, it gives you pain. So it's another thing we have to think about. But it is working because my swallow is already better. Um, it's much improved. So um, that's encouraging for me. I've got not to forget that I've got cancer because sometimes I do and, the, uh, and then the oncology nurse reminded the oncology doctor reminded me about that earlier on in the week we started talking about a timeline for the operation and I'd worked it out it was about the middle of December and I said oh they might put it off until after Christmas might they they might you know just say oh we'll be short staffed and you want to enjoy your Christmas maybe we um, will put it off until January and she said oh no no th that's got to come out and she pointed it and she said, when you're done with your chemo and you're sorted um, David's wandering in which one are they? oh it's time to go now okay um, so I've finished my drink hang on even though I'm fasting before the chemo which I am because it makes it work better I'm still drinking I've still got my juice it looks like blood but it's beetroot No animals were harmed in the making of it. <laughs> yeah, so a reality check there. I, I'm hoping I'll get my sur my big surgery before Christmas. There are no Sunday dinner, no turkey dinners for me over Christmas. But David's is, David's tapping his watch now, so I've got to go. Um, thanks again, everybody who got involved with the, the cat coffee morning and the zumba. It was brilliant. Um, 
and I always thought one last thought if, if you're going through anything hard in your life I'll leave you with this thought so I was chatting to my dear friend last week and her son has had a brain cancer and he's come through it he was only 12 or 13 when he got it um, and he's had a hard time with it but and so David said to her, her how do you cope because she's the carer and David's the carer how do you cope how did you get through that and she said one step at a time everything has to do, if you, even if it's only the next hour or the next day or the next bit of treatment or the next week just do it one step at a time so that's what we're doing like that Whitney Houston, Houston song step by step that's the way we're, that's the way we're, we're dealing with it um, and it's really good advice Anyway, I'm leaving you now, get my drink and we're going to scoot off and get some more chemo. Ding, ding, round two. Thanks everyone for listening and thanks for all the love. Keep sending it. <laughs>